The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not, in any way, reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. Okay, um... I normally don't want to do something like this, pero kasi uh, I'm a little bit under the weather at this point, and um, I hope it's not something that I ha have been fearing about, and I hope na ma wala na to uh, Right now, I'm a little bit better than a few days ago, but of course, uh, hindi ko hindi ko masasabi. I really can't tell if uh, I'm really. Uh, better now, but I really have to sort this out because I need to get uh, my uh, documents done. Anyway, let's get on with the show. Perfect Spanish. <laughs> 200 years. I am Ian Rinyon, an independent alternative media practitioner, among other things. Again, I am under the weather at this point, so uh, this is a uh, low key. Uh, episode of the Intrepid Show, and uh, I have four things to talk about at this point, and uh, I'm doing it uh, on a note basis or in a or in a how do I say this uh, in a bullet point system or a bullet point basis. And uh, first off, we would talk about the uh, the other global headline other than the death and funeral of Queen Elizabeth II, and that is the Ukrainian counteroffensive. Now, mga kababayan, it's just scaling up. It's just uh, do and have. It's just getting worse at this point because uh, while the Ukrainians are gaining ground, the Russians are trying to conscript uh, or conscript. Uh, their own citizens. Uh, some of them, have, it's a partial uh, mobilization, uh, as some journalists call it. And uh, there are a lot of people, uh, especially men of uh, men who are considered as able-bodied, who are leaving the country for uh, for reasons that they don't want to. They want. They don't want to go to war. Uh, there's even a slogan in in their uh, in uh, some of the protests that happened uh, in the country in the past few days. Niet vaynye, no to war. That's uh, that's their uh, that's their uh, slogan at this point. So it really is a concerning uh, geopolitically because uh, there are. Also, a lot of stuff that uh, were basically uh, are basically uh, being sorted because of the twenty fourth. Because some prepper, some in the prepper community, and uh, as some as someone who is more of a survivalist and someone who is uh, uh, into survivalism and uh, being prepared for the worst, uh, I'm a little bit. Uh, Skeptical? Why on earth are they uh, uh, a little bit uh, worried about September twenty four? So, hindi ko lang talaga alam kung bakit. But hey, uh, I am recording this on the twenty fifth of September, so that means, uh, well, at least in my part of the world, it's already the twenty fifth of September. So, uh, so far, nothing bad has happened, and uh, the only significant uh, thing that happened on the twenty fourth of September is the launch. Of the final Delta Four Heavy by United Launch United Launch Alliance. Uh, pinanood ko siya do sa uh, live stream ni, ni Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. Uh, you can check him out. Uh, you can check his uh, uh, the replay the replay of his live stream at this point in the recording or at the point of uh, that I've recorded this. And then uh, yun nga, uh, it's just a little bit uh, sorted out. Anyway, uh, the second thing that we are going to talk about is 
1081 day. The 50th anniversary of it last uh, September 21 or maybe September 23 for those who are uh, for those who are uh, who would like to be historically accurate uh, at, uh, at that point because while the declaration was signed on the 21st of September, the announcement was made on the 23rd. So I can say that since it is also the feast of St. Matthew the Apostle, uh, what I can actually uh, call that day, 921, uh, aside from 1081 day, is also uh, Black St. Matthews because uh, a lot of folks are uh, wear, uh, wearing black during the 21st of September and I, I can understand why. But uh, since it, it is also the, day, uh, the feast day of St. Matthew, it's just appropriate uh, for Catholics like me to, or even uh, uh, high church uh, Protestants uh, to refer to uh, the 21st of September as Black St. Matthews. So that's it. Now, I don't really want to talk about that much regarding the regarding the whole uh, martial law thing it really is a very uh very big can of worms at this point mga kababayan it really is something i don't want to uh i don't want to uh you know i really don't want to uh get into but uh just to be you know just to um wait now kasi nag ano din eh nagbago din ang facebook eh for some reason uh i don't know what's going on but i'm trying to look at my ano at the ano at my uh um trying to look at the page so uh that's uh, the intrepid show with Ian Renyon uh, please check that out on facebook so uh let me just uh get this sorted out. Now, mga kababayan, wherever you are in ano in the political spectrum, it's just proper that um we see, uh, we sort this out or we see this in a very um in a very uh, nuanced, uh, in a very nuanced, um, in the most nuanced way possible. Because moving on is not the right word. We have to move forward. We need to move forward. And if I should add, move forward, learning the lessons of the past. Because it's no use um, moving on if. If uh, we just can't, uh, just can't. Uh, if if we do, if we if we do dwell in the past, uh, it's good that we remember this. It, um, right and rightfully so, but then again, it's really good that we remember what happened, and rightfully so. That because the dead tell no tales and their demise should be mourned and accounted for. But those who keep the fire of remembrance should control the, its burn, lest they stoke an inferno, seek setting this nation ablaze, and accidentally immolate those who they intended intended to befriend. So that's how I would like to uh, see it. Now, let's... That's the end of my uh, banter regarding uh, 1081 day uh, or the 50th anniversary of uh, the Marcosian martial law period. But anyway, uh, the third thing that I would like to discuss is uh, the reunion concert of the Eraserheads because <laughs> it's uh, it's happening. Uh, I understand nag tweet dati si Eli Buendia na if if some if, if this happens if this uh if this very thing happens magre reunion concert ang Eheads and somehow it just did 
So, uh, good luck to that. However, uh, there's um, there's this um, issue regarding uh, uh, the band's guitarist, Marco Sadoro. He's basically the outsider of the um, of the band because most of the songs were written by uh, Eli Buendia, Raymond Mar- Marasigan, and Buddy Zabala in that order. But Marco Sadoro is more more of the more of the uh, the sla- uh, the the shredder, talaga. So talagang hindi talaga siya yung into uh, songwriting talaga. Uh, he just wanted to interpret. The whole song for the whole band, but you see, mga kababayan, Marco Sadoro has been through a lot of shit, and uh, I'm not condoning it. I actually am disappointed. Na, uh, tayo, ito nangyari kay Marco Sadoro, and uh, and I think one of the non-negotiables, sabi ni ano, sabi ni Ellie, in um, in making the reunion concert is for uh Marcos to sort his shit out and uh, or else hahanap na lang sila ng ibang gitarista and i guess uh it would be prudent for Ellie to have a backup guitarist if ever uh if ever um Marcos didn't uh sort out his shit kasi uh What I've been talking about regarding uh, the issue about Marco Sadoro is, uh, is related to substance use and domestic violence. It just so happens that uh, his daughter, uh, Sid Harta, um, uh, Sid Harta, uh, that's the no, that's her, uh, that's her screen name, and I'm not sure if uh, that's also uh, her real name. Uh, Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, since uh, she's Marco Sadoro's uh, daughter, she would uh, have her name, and she's absolutely ashamed of it. I and, and I and I'm pretty sure Ellie and the rest of the band would um, would uh, ito, would reach out to Sid and uh, her mother. regarding uh regarding uh their bandmate and i really hope that the whole damn thing uh would not be uh would not uh go down to uh go down to oblivion because of uh because of the shit that uh, marcos had to settle of course kailangan pa rin yang pag ano ayun pag uh if ever But for Alden Richards' sake, the show must go on. Kasi siya, siya ang ano eh. Isa siya sa mga producers yata netong, ano na to, netong uh, concert na to. And uh, it would be a shame for Alden to... Uh, uh, it would be a shame for, Al, uh, for everyone to... Uh, uh, to get this, so, so, get this sorted out. I mean, come on. Uh, even even if I'm really cringing about Philippine the Philippine entertainment industry, I think the Eraserheads is one of the gems of uh, Filipino music. And I, and as someone who has grown up with their uh, with their music, uh, especially uh, especially since it, they were still relevant in the early 2000s, I think I know. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's um it's safe to say that uh Alden should ano, Alden should uh, mediate about the mediate regarding this kasi uh he, he he puts his foot on the bill for uh for some reason so yun lang naman. Anyway, uh I have remember I remembered, I remember or I have uh noted na one of the episodes or re- one of the episodes of the Intrepid show regarding autism in the Philippines would 
deal with uh, autistic coded songs by uh, the eraser heads and uh, you know I think I'm going to uh, continue with that however I would uh, deal first with a video regard uh, addressing the autistic community uh, as a whole kasi napapansin ko lang din na uh, especially in the global autistic community there there is a rift between uh, actually autistic adults uh, those who are very much late diagnosed or even those who grew up autistic and uh, parents of autistic children and nasa gitna nun are uh, autistic parents of autistic children so it's an absolutely uh, great mess and sa ngayon hindi ko muna siya ma- maaayos or hindi ko muna siya ma- magagawa ng video or recording kasi nga nangangatay na yung lalamunan ko pero to be ano to to uh, make the long story short I'm thinking of uh, selecting some of the songs by the eraser heads that somehow is ano somehow is um uh resonates with uh, the neurodivergent community specifically autistics um for one i can say mascara is ano is a uh, is a song that can be you know that can be attributed to the autistic community because um uh, masking kung may problema ka magsuot ng mascara so uh basically uh even though it's a little bit enabling pero naisip ko rin there's a message behind it na sometimes you just can't help but mask kasi in our society it's just that but anyway the the, the explanation would be on a different video inaano ko lang kayo ina uh uh dito teaser ko lang kayo so to be you know to conclude this uh talk about uh the eraser heads um i think their song mean sun hits harder now kasi uh the last line of the chorus uh, goes minsan tayo ay naging tunay na magkaibigan so you know uh i don't know guys it's just it uh that it's good that Ellie uh is uh standing firm na Marcos uh Marcos should uh settle his shit or else they would get another get arrest for the uh for the show. But then again, the social media community should just uh calm down. Kasi they've been sorting this out on their own and they're not really helping. Yun lang naman yung sa akin. Anyway, I've been talking too much at this point uh and uh I'm I'm just going to edit uh most of this or a lot of this uh stuff so that it would uh not uh exceed 20 minutes. So uh if you've come if you've come this far, I I would like to thank you for listening even though uh my voice is a little bit raspy and a little bit um under the weather. If ever you wanted to uh listen to more of this uh or uh view or listen to more of this stuff i would like you to subscribe to this channel ring the notification bell by selecting all and then um leave a like as well so that uh the algorithm would uh would send uh a video regarding this uh your way so um i hope that you would uh sort this out uh, i hope that you would uh help me in uh doing all this stuff also uh if you are very generous i have uh I have links on uh, links in the description below uh, through Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, Ko-Fi, and PayPal. Uh, if you're very generous, any amount would do. I would very much uh, appreciate it. So, again, uh, let me go ahead and rest my voice for a while. So, uh, with all that said, this is Intrepid Ian Reunion reminding you to, at all times, be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive. Be kind to yourself and to each other. And as always, thank you for watching.
Armin Trepid HQ. See you next time. Yeah, now.